Hi guys, it's me Stace. Today I want to share with you my design team project for May May Made It. I decided to make little mummy treat boxes. They look like a little matchbook style with a little candy in them. That one has Kit Kats in it and this one has my favorite candy of all time, um, candy corn. Really fun and easy to do. Alright, so to get started, you're going to need a piece of cardstock. I'm using all Stampin' Up! colors, so this one here is Soft Suede 6x6. Six six. You're going to bring in your envelope punch board. You're going to line up the one edge at two inches and then punch and score. Scooch it over to three inches and do the same. Punch and score. You're going to turn it. And now, now you want to line up the little doohickey thing there with your score mark. And then punch and score. Line it up again. Punch and score. Turn it again. So the same thing. Each turn you're going to line it up the score mark with the doohickey thing. Oops. Punch and score. Punch and score. And our last one right here. Line it up. Punch. Score. Punch. Score. Whoop. There we go. All right, put that back and move that out of our way. Now I'm going to go ahead and crease these up. I'm going to just finger press them first. Go in their bone folder and give each one a nice crisp crease. And our last side right here. All right, then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to clip off or clip on the score mark on the corners. And I'm also going to clip on the tab a little bit on an angle. I find my do that makes the box go together a little bit easier less bulk. This one. Get a little sliver out of that one. This one and our sliver. Okay, you're going to flip it over and you're going to put score tape or a strong adhesive on all of your tabs. And one more right here. Right, then you're going to take your each end. Now you'll see this score mark where it's going to fold. You want to also create a fold on that line. So just kind of fold that one down and then fold it again. And the paper will tell you where to go. It's really easy. You want to do that on all of the sides. So fold it down and then fold it again. Down and again. And this is going to create the walls for the drawer part. Okay, so now it's going to look like that. Now again, you're going to go back with your score tape and put score tape on the very tip top of the triangles. This is just so it helps it stay down for us. Okay, now on one of the short ends, so you have a long edge and a short end, on one of the short ends you're going to fold it in half. So you'll see the first square mark and the second and third, you're going to fold on the second square mark take a circle punch. I'm using a three quarter inch circle punch and punch just a little bit out. This way it creates the, the um, pool for the drawers and it's going to create that little piece right there. And now we're going to flip this over, remove all the backing on the score tape. Sometimes that's easier said than done. This is a nice little size box, really great for classroom parties. Um, the, each box, you, you can make one box out of one sheet of brown cardstock and one sheet out of white cardstock. And then you're going to take these and fold up the edges, line up your corner on each of the four sides, like that. Okay, we have our base. Now take the score tape off your triangle pieces. If you don't have score tape, you can use any kind of liquid, you know, any kind of liquid glue you like. Just make sure it's a strong adhesive. Then take it and fold them inward. And you'll see this going to create your wall. Okay, now we have all that yuckiness we want to cover up. So I have another piece of matching cardstock, soft suede, two and one eighth by three and a half. I'm just going to plop a little bit of wet glue on it. 
just to kind of hold it down in there. It creates a little liner. Okay, just make sure it's in there really well and straight. If it's not, just kind of go in there with your bone folder and help it along. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's talk about the stamp, shall we? I'm using, like I said, Mamie made it. This is Country Pumpkin. Hopefully you guys can see these, probably not. Huh? Really, really cute. I love the font on the sugar tree. So lots of Halloween sayings, fall sayings. We're of course using yummy, yummy, mummy, mummy. We're gonna go grab that. It's already on my block. I'm gonna use soft suede ink and throw the ink pad across the room. All right, I'm gonna stamp that on just a scrap piece of white cardstock. I'm gonna go straight down and straight up. And perfect every time. Her stamp stamp really well. And this is my first time using her stamps, and I will say I'm really impressed. All right, set that aside. Now let's work on the wrapper. For that, I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, or any color you like, three and three quarter by six and three quarter. I scored it at one and a quarter, two inches, four and three eighths, and then again at five and one eighth. And I will have all the dimensions for this on my blog. Go to increase all those up with your bone folder. All right, and then we're gonna flip it over and put score tape on one of the edges. It doesn't really matter which edge you use. Okay, I'm gonna bring my box in. I'm gonna take the backing off of this real quick. Bring the box and I kind of lay that down flat on the inside there. And then fold everything over and make sure I'm lined up. And then pull this out. Just give that a little crease. Now I want to go back in with my ink. You want to ink everything with the mummy. You want to ink the outside of your box. And the sloppier the better, I think. And our last one. Right there. Okay, isn't that cute? All right, now we can go ahead and set this aside. And now we're gonna work on creating the actual mummy part. I have another piece of cardstock. This really doesn't matter what color. We're, we're gonna hide this. This is two and one quarter by three and five eighths. Then I took a, um, a bunch of Whisper White paper or any color, like I said, any color white cardstock. It was four inches wide. I just tore it in little strips and I inked both edges. We're gonna take some glue and do a little bit at a time so the glue doesn't dry on you and then just literally lay these across. Now while I'm here with a dull moment, let me tell you a little bit about May May's stamps. Um, first off, they're all photopolymer, which I love. You know, if you're new to stamping, photopolymer I think is the way to go because you can see through them, so they're really easy to line up. Now, the second one, which is also equally important, is that they're all made in the USA. I think that's really nice and really, it's a good thing. You know, when you find a company or you know, a person who makes their product inside our country. I love that. All right, so she also has an Etsy store where you guys can go and see her stamps and fall in love with them. And they're reasonably priced. They are $7.99 for what she calls a four by four size and $11.99 for the size I just shared with you guys. She has a stamp of the month club that you guys can be a part of. That is $11.99 per month. And if you're a member of the club, you get free shipping on all of your stamps, which is always a bonus, right? Who doesn't love free shipping? I'm going to grab my scissors, and while we're talking, we're going to trim this off. Just going to make sure your glue is dried a little bit. Okay, we're going to trim this off. And I will have all the links to all our channels below, her Facebook page, um, her Etsy store, the place where you go to, to the Stamp of the Month Club, as well as her YouTube channel. If you have guys have not seen her channel, you need to go there like immediately. Well, wait till the video's over. My video's over. But she has phenomenal stuff. And I said before, she really is a talented woman. I think her stuff is so good, it looks like it was made from a boutique store. And I honestly will say that regardless of whether I'm on her design team or not, I think she really has really good product. A lot of DIYs, home decor. She just got done doing a home tour of her fall decorating. Gorgeous. And I will say she loves her pumpkins. So you guys need to go there and check it out. And I will have all this on my blog as well. So you guys can go there and see all the links. So we have that cut out. I'm gonna take your score tape on the back of this piece. And you do wanna use a strong glue here because we put a lot of liquid glue on that. And I will have all the links to all the other designers on her design team 
on my blog as well and then in the down bar of the video and the nice thing is that we're all different you know so if you like the stamps or haven't even tried the stamps you can go to each one of our sites and get different ideas which i do like all right bring in your box again i'm going to put the box set upside down a little bit harder to do upside down there we go all right take the backing off of the score tape And then we're almost done. So it's really easy. Grab that little end right there. There's always one that has to be stubborn, right? All right. Now you're going to go in and plop this on the front. And there's no right or wrong way to put it on there. Just kind of plop it down. And I went crooked. That's okay. And then you're going to open it up and just go ahead and give it a rub. Now you want to create the eyes for the mummy and as well as our stamp. You want to finish that off. Go ahead and put this back in there. All right. Now for the eyes, all I did was take a piece of white cardstock with a three-quarter inch circle punch. I punched it out twice. I took a half inch circle punch and punched it out in black cardstock. And I glued them together. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put some score tape on the back. I'm a big fan of score tape. I don't want, especially when I make little treats like this, I hate when they fall apart. So you want to use a good strong glue. Then I also use the white gel pen just to highlight the eye a little bit. All right, take the backing off of those. And you want to put them on there, kind of wonky. All right, and then our last one over here. Put that one kind of up like that. Then I took the same color cardstock, the soft suede. Again, with the one at circle punch, I cut it in half, inked the edges with the same soft suede ink. Put a dimension on the back of them. And put it up there for his little eyebrows. Isn't that fun? He's coming to life now. My last one up here. Okay. Then we have our stamp. I'm going to go ahead and punch that out. I'm going to using the extra large oval punch. This is from Stampin' Up! But any, any punch you have will work. And this fits in there perfectly. Love that. All right, then we'll also ink it up. Important to ink everything. And ink the edges. So you can see this project went together in what, maybe 12 minutes, 10 minutes? Really, really quick. And I, I like this because you can mass produce them. I grabbed some dimensionals. I seem to have lost them. Let me grab the sheet. Oh, they're right here. Or pop dots or foam tape, whatever you guys have. Get the backing off of those, and we are done. And look how cute that is. Isn't that darling? Love them. I mean, this is a little bit crooked, so we'll show you these two, the better of the two. Any questions at all, guys, please let me know. Um, they were super easy just using the envelope punch board. And like I said, please check out the links below to all of Maymay's channels. You will not be sorry, as well as the other designers. And you can find all that on my blog as well. But as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.